This shit was more staged than a Tyler Perry production of Medea Runs for President. I lived in Harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove. Where'd the blood come from? So in theater, in movies, they have what's called blood pellets. You, they even, you know, a lot of people use them in Halloween. It's basically a, a pellet of fake blood that's in your mouth. And when you crush it, the blood comes out. Um, to be frank, small hands Trump would not respond by raising his fist in the air triumphantly were an actual attempt made on his life. This was, I believe, done to try to show his strength counter to Biden's fragility. But um, um, my God, Molly, you in danger, girl? That shit was most staged. I can't. You can, you can, uh, we're gonna wait to join come back. But I can. Can you believe that she said this thing was actually fake, bro? This is the time we need to cancel her. Who Somebody, is this woman? You, I, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Somebody died for real. Yeah. Somebody really died, and she said. <laughs> And two people got injured. Keep that in mind. Two people got injured. Two got injured. So this is an insult to the people who died and who got injured. Like, like this is why I say, as black people, sometimes we must be in this cloud somewhere in the space. We forget what logic is all about. Why would somebody stage a shooting? The, like, like there's pictures all online. They. There was camera people there taking pictures. They took pictures of the stuff. They took pictures of the guy. They took pictures of the people who got shot. This is for real. This is America. This ain't nothing new. We breed off of violence. This is what we do. Is you idiots following behind it. And for you idiots to say, this is, this is stage? No, she doesn't need to get another movie role after this. Not only that, but um, I would say a lot of people, a lot of celebrities are saying a lot that this is this this is stage. Prime example, you have another one, another celebrity plies also say the same thing. This is stage that um they're using it uh as that pretty much Trump side using it as a political ploy so he get more voters, not only more voters but also young voters, black voters because they're like oh because he almost got shot, therefore he could be relatable to the black community so he could gain black votes. And that's why they say at the end he did the fist in the air. I'm like, but no worry. When Ply say that, Kodak Black came back with a counter attack and say, you don't know what you're talking about. And so I'm like, I, I don't know what Ply is talking about, too. I'm saying, why are these celebrities that's coming up with this idea that it looks fake? I'm like, it's not fake. Like, clearly, like, how can you say it? And Jordan, someone got, someone literally deceased because of it. Yeah. If it was, if it was fake, no one would have been deceased. Two people wouldn't have been deceased right now. Shout out to Jabbar that's in the building. Go ahead, Jordan. Yeah, and the thing is about it, you know, as you see with Amanda Seals, he's very democratic. Also, Fox, he's very democratic. I really like Joe Biden and everything. And you see how they come up with their mindset is it's like when you see stuff like this, they automatically they say, even now there's proof that, you know, Trump got, got, you know, got hit, got hurt. Also, you know, a few people who passed away and everything. They can make any they, they in their mind is to make up any story that oh this see this is how it happened and everything. You know, it's like in the script and everything. See, see, see. This is this is nonsense, man. And I hate that people that think like that, you know, they just it's just like they just they, I know they cannot stand Trump and everything, but come on, this is a real deal. He was almost got assassinated. Almost got assassinated. And if the thing is it's like what are we at the time when you know we see something like this, we just have some type of sympathy for him. He's got some sympathy. You might, you might not like the man, hate the man, but can I have some sympathy for Donald Trump? He's almost got deleted. Almost got deleted. I can't stand these people like that, you know? As Americans, you know, 
it's it's like we're it's like we're dividing in a way. It's just we're dividing each other. People are dividing, dividing, dividing. I'm just like, no, we're still Americans. You know, we can love people like, like to be an independent, to be a Democrat, to be a Republican, to choose whatever. You know, you might have different views. You might disagree with certain type of views, but it's just go all the way to uh, going to like complete hatred. And the thing is, uh, you guys, if you want to assassinated, they would have been crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Um, you, you, I think y'all, you, you probably was not crazy for autistic. I don't know if it's an autistic thing or anything, but what you would say is out of this world, you know, and, and to, to her like that, you know, I, I, and she other thing is, I just have to apologize. I know she's trying to apologize. But what she said is going around like that is very wrong. You know, I know you don't like the guy, I think the guy, but, you know, that's not very wrong, what she said. It also applies to any other people who think of thinking of a stage as well. It was real. Point blank, period, it's real. And, you know, as a country, we got to really do better. As Americans, when it comes to something like this, when it comes to something like that, you should be rejoicing how to come together, pray for each other. And hope for America, America, and, and us as American citizens, we need to do better. All generations, our kids, the older generations, the young, young generations, we need to do better. You know, we need to come together and say, hey, as American citizens, we should, we should, we should, we should not come down like this. We should not take our, we should, we should not be taking out uh, 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 another American, a, 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 a politician of our uh, land when it comes to that. We take politics way right too seriously to the point they want to start. You know, shooting follow politicians. What's it sad? This needs to stop. It needs to change. We're in America and we're way better than that. We're way better than that because there's other countries see this and they've been laughing at They definitely laughing at us and stuff like this. Um, uh, Jordan, check your um, there are a lot of people in the chat. They say you're breaking up bad. I'll check your, I'll probably your green screen in the back. I think it's, it's giving you a like okay. delay. All right, let me leave real quick. And also, I know that, but shout out to Y High. He's also saying check your audio. Um, so I came, um, the, the, the way, we, the way things are going in America, it, like I say, our democracy is in trouble because now it's getting people leverage that, okay, since this is the guy was able to do it, someone else going to think they are trying to be a hero and do the same thing again. We got to be careful. We got to be careful folks. And I always tell people it's good to go outside. You know, sometimes I, conv- I try to convince Natasha Vincent to go outside. But it seemed like the more people go outside, the more think the craziest thing people, the craziest thing things are getting. I think after the pandemic, a lot of people are losing their minds. I think we live it in the twilight zone, literally, or the matrix. Some people call it because people are just losing themselves over and over to to try to be to try to say I'm gonna put my level as one of the people to, to assassinate a former president is crazy to me. We're not a third world country. We are American. We are in America. Totally different. Go ahead, again. No, Can I hear me better? Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. All right, Chad, you hear me better. You're right, man. Um, democracy is in trouble, and, and we don't want people to think they do this. But I'm telling you, this is nothing new. This actually just got this close, but a lot of y'all forget we covered the same story where a, a goofy tried to um, run up in the White House when Obama was elected to try to kill him. That's Remember true. that? Yeah. Yeah, guns, knives, Secret Service stopped them from that. So this is not the first time people attempt to um, exercise whatever right they think. It's just all about who, who which one is which one is going to be able to go through. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And now that I also mentioned the aspect of uh, Ronald Reagan. Like, you know, certain things... We not don't say certain things we're not supposed to do because America America is supposed to be like this civil country, not the crazy country. Mm-hmm. 